That's my new telescope. I just want to say a few words before we go to the actual unboxing of this thing. Um, I think I have to apologize for the quite bad uh, video quality. It was quite late in the afternoon and I had bad lightning and so on, but I really, really wanted to unpack this uh, new telescope in this uh, very evening. So yeah, I hope you like the content anyways. I also want to add, um, this is of course not my first telescope. I had many telescopes before in the past. Uh, refractors as well as reflectors and I also um, e experimented a little bit with webcams in the past some years ago uh, for example with this one um, this is a Logitech um, Wester I think it called I think the model is called Wester Logitech Wester Pro webcam and the special thing is it has a CCD camera Oh, it, has a, uh, it had a, a CCD camera back when you were able to buy it. It also had some issues with noise, of course, but for first test with um, astrophotography and so on, imaging, uh, astro imaging, it was very helpful. And yeah, so, but without further ado, um, let's unbox this baby. Have fun. Okay, this one, this one, this one. Hi guys! This one, this as well. Yeah, I need this. And this one, yeah. Order. Yeah, why not? All right, I'm officially broke. <laughs> I spent some money on Astro Gear, and if you're also interested in what I spent my money on, stay tuned. So yeah, as you saw before, I ordered something and it's a Celestron Next Star 127 SLT Maxutov Telescope. Uh, it has a go-to function. So it's very good uh, for beginners. And this instrument is quite powerful. It's mainly for planetary imaging, but you also can do a little bit of deep sky imaging. So let's see what's inside. All right, so what do we have here? So we have the mount. I think now you can see this better. That's the mounting head. Wow, quite heavy. 
boxes and boxes and boxes. Okay, so I ordered not just the telescope but also other stuff, essential stuff actually. And yeah, as you saw before, that's the um, mount and the tripod. So as I said before, I ordered also other stuff, essential stuff actually for the telescope, not just the telescope itself. But I would say let's unpack each pack separately and yeah, let's go to the table. All right, there are some packages here. Ooh. Okay. I would say maybe first let's start with the big things. I guess I know what it is. I think you already also know. That's actually the main part of, or essential part of every telescope. So I try not to drop it. So I try not to drop it. That's the main tube, optical tube. Wow, quite heavy. So, as I said before, it's a 127 millimeter instrument. Um, I think the effective diameter is 114 because you have some mirrors. Very important. Never look into the sun without protection. Yeah, and this is a beautiful baby. Celestron Nexstar 127 SLT. That's exactly what I ordered. <laughs> That's very good. Very cool. Let's come to the next package here. <laughs> okay, that's a dummy, that's a spacer, most probably. Maybe if you're. Ah. I recognize sometimes that it really helps if you are able to read. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's really cool because um, in principle, so if you order more stuff, more additional stuff to your telescope, then you have some more space and you can pack all in the same um, package, telescope package, so very good. I wondered why it was so light. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, there's some things. Made in China box. Another. Ah. I think you already know what it is. Eyepiece. Eyepiece 25 and 9 millimeter.
that's for the tripod. Okay. Very nice. We have already a tool inside to, to build this thing. Very cool. Wow. We have our controller. Main controller. Very nice. Also have a finder scope here. Very nice. The box is right here. Ah. Diagonal now. But most probably, most probably, I will not use this because I want to directly connect my camera to the telescope um, because as you may know it's not easy it's really not easy to make a um, really good mirror and that's an additional part of optics in your optical train you if you can prevent it I would not use it maybe it can reduce uh, the optical cap capabilities of your instrument I would say at least a little bit it depends uh, which mirror you have and so on okay that's that's a T2 adapter to my Canon EOS M50 camera that's a, that's a T2 adapter or screw and this is the screw adapter side from my Canon M50 EOS M50 camera. This one. And then you also have a tool with it. Next, we have. I am T2 to one and a quarter inch adapter. So this side is the T2 side, T2 ring side if you wish. And that's the one and a quarter inch um, yeah, adapter. And this you can insert your telescope. To connect your camera, you need this adapter and yeah, it's called T2 to EOS M adapter because I have a EOS M50 camera and this part goes to your camera, to your bayonet, EOS M bayonet. And this is the one and a quarter adapter. And this goes into your telescope. So what you do, you connect this T EOS M connector to the one and a quarter inch connection to a telescope and then you remove your lens from your camera yeah you can see the sensor now you should do this maybe quite fast not to have dust in your sensor and so on so and what you do, you look for a mark. You have a mark on your camera and on the adapter and you just connect those parts. Like this. And now you are ready for your telescope.
and you just remove the cap from your telescope and you insert it and tighten the screw and you're ready to go. Okay, what's next? Next is the Bader Auto Telescope Power Switch. I ordered this because I heard from uh, many YouTube videos and yeah, also from other people that you need, I think you need eight AA batteries uh, for the telescope, for the electronic mounting and controlling and so on. And it's very helpful if you have a power supply for this because the battery will not um, live forever. Ah, I have different adapters here, okay. Since I'm living in, in Europe, I will need this one. Very nice. And this side, there's a this side goes to your telescope. Oh. Then I also ordered a Barlow 2.25x Barlow. And this special thing from Barter, um, with this thing you can have a 2.2 fold magnification or 1.3 fold. And this is called Q Barlow. Wow. That's not the cheapest Barlow, of course, you can buy. I think it was 52, yeah, I'm sure it's, it was 52 euros. And yeah, I mean, there are much more cheaper ones. Of course, you also can pay 200 euros and more for a Barlow, but I thought, for the beginning, that's okay, so. I don't know how many glasses it has. I think it's quite cheap, so most probably two. I don't think it has three elements, so yeah. Let's, let's close this, not to have too much um, dust here. I also ordered a button of mask for focusing. For focusing. Um, I hope this fits because Because, of course, you know the diameter of this mirror and so on, but you don't know what's the total diameter, right? So, and the support was also not very sure, but this should be okay, actually. Yeah, I think that's it. So that's the tube, and that's the Barlow, uh, Batinov mask, sorry. Yeah, that should definitely fit. Not to touch any glass element or something or dust, I will close it right away. Okay, that's all. So yeah, here's again what I have. So that's a tripod with a mount. Um, I forgot to show you, I have a tube cover from Oregon. I have the main tube, which is a Celesto Nexstar 127SLT Maxutov telescope. Um, I have some tools here. I have the diagonal, I have an adapter with the one one and a quarter adapter to my uh, Canon EOS M50 um, 
camera, I have a finder scope, I have two eyepieces, um, 25 and 9 millimeter. I have a Barlow lens, 2.25 Barlow lens, I have the controller. I This is not on the package from the telescope, I ordered separately. Also, Barlow of course is not inserted, and the adapter. Um, I also separately ordered a power supply, uh, which comes quite handy I think. You have different, yeah, quick guide, you have a manual how to do all the things um, have a yeah you have a selection um, manual which maybe more goes more into details and so on and so yeah and that's all what I have So yeah, that's my order, or that's the content of my order, and um, yeah, today unfortunately I cannot test the telescope uh, because, yeah, clouds, <laughs> and, but I would say uh, we will check this out later. Yeah, I'm really happy and um, I cannot wait to have the first light with this instrument, and yeah. So if you like this, um, give me a thumbs up or maybe subscribe to my channel or maybe write me a uh, comment. Maybe what's your favorites maybe for this kind of telescope, Maxutov telescope or um, yeah, maybe except um, planetary, which I will do of course, but maybe also deep sky objects. So if you have any ideas, please write in the comments and yeah. See you next time, clear skies.